What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Worlds video. Today I'm going to be talking all about transfers. Obviously the January transfer window is open, uh, and we definitely do need some new signings in, um, after, especially after what has happened in the past few weeks. Um, so first of all, uh, we definitely do need a striker, um, as, I, as I mentioned um, in Saturday's video. We definitely do need, need, need a new striker, and... Um, yeah, obviously Patrick Catrone has uh, gone to Fiorentina now, so I mean he would have been uh, quite a decent striker to bring on uh, in the closing stages to try and um, and get us uh, those three points. But he's gone now, and we need someone like him. We really do need need a striker uh, who will come on uh, with about 20 minutes to go and get us those goals. Um, to, to uh, get us those points and put us up uh, the Premier League table because at the moment um, obviously we're looking to qualify for Europe um, we're we're in and around there we're um, we're seventh in the league at the moment um, and not far off uh, Manchester United in fifth um, I think uh, we're only we're only three points off Man United um, at this current time um, but we really could we, really, we, we could be in Manchester United's position right now um, uh, if we had uh, if we had that striker who who could get us through those games, especially against uh, the bottom half. Um, it's, like, it's, it's like that problem we had last season. We were struggling to beat uh, the bottom half teams in the league. Um, I struggled to break down Newcastle. Uh, they were very resilient. Uh, we needed a striker like that um, who. Who will get us those goals um, and will break break down those teams um, who are very hard to play against? Who will have ten men behind the ball um, and will just not give up? Um, so that's definitely one thing to look at um, in the transfer window. And another uh, another this is injury update, which will definitely. Uh, feel like a new signing um, is Willy Bolly coming back. Um, he's supposed to be coming back in the next few weeks, um, and um, he'll definitely feel like a new signing uh, because Den Donker has been uh, a viable replacement. Size uh, Romain Size has been a uh, um, viable replacement as well, uh, alongside Connor Cody uh, at the back. Uh, but Willy Bolly. Uh, we definitely need a physical presence at the back, like Willy Bolly, uh, back in the side. Um, he will definitely be, um, definitely feel like a new signing, and um, hopefully, uh, as I say, uh, hopefully we can get him back in the next few weeks and straight back into the squad. There has been some calls um, in um, over the past few games. Obviously, we've not been winning. We haven't won uh, in our last four games in all competitions. Um, there has been some calls that the tiredness um, we played obviously in the Europa League, um, the added factor of the Euro Europa League this season. We've we, we've played nearly forty games uh, in all competitions this season, um, and it's been said that uh, the the tiredness is finally uh, uh, catching up. Um, uh, catching up with the with the team, and it, it could be, it, it it could be, but I mean, if the, if the tiredness is, is really is really catching up, um, look in the pa look in, uh, look at the results we we have had in the past month, um, even a couple of weeks ago, um, when when we lost one 0 to Liverpool, we put in a great performance there. Um, we beat Manchester City 3-2. Um, it just shows. Well, we it could be tiredness. Obviously, we've uh, since then um, we have we have lost uh, we've we've lost to Watford when we really should have won that, um, and we, we drew against Newcastle um, and uh, struggled uh, to break their defence down. They were very resilient. Um, so maybe. But um, it's 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 all um, it, it's it's up to, it, it's it really is up for the debate. 
yeah, um, that, that's that's all really in terms of music. There's, there's obviously there's obviously loads loads of rumours like um, we we're interested in Gedson Fernandez, uh, but he lo lo looks to be going to uh, uh, Spurs on, on a um, 18 month loan deal. Uh, so that looks out the window now. Um, I don't, don't think we were ever interested in him anyway. Um, I think it was, I think it was merely a rumor. Um, and uh, we've, well, we've we've had to, we've been linked obviously with quite quite a few players, but nothing really um, over the line as yet. We've been we've been linked with um, over the past. A uh, couple of days, we've been linked with uh, Jared Bone from Hull City, who's scored quite a few goals in the Championship this season. Um, he's performed quite well. Um, so, I mean, w is he Premier Premier League quality? Obviously, that's 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 where you uh, sometimes where you draw the line. They're, they're great in the Championship. I mean, Jar Jared Bone scored 17 goals in the Championship this season. He's been absolutely excellent for Hull City, but. Would he cut it in the Premier League? That's that's the main question. Lo loads of uh, loads of rumours, uh, but nothing um, in terms of uh, deals done um, as yet. Um, uh, mostly the deals that have been done have been um, in the opposite direction. But yeah, um, that's that's all the uh, transfer news I have to share. Uh, if you did enjoy uh, this Wolves video, make sure to smash that like button. Um, and I shall see you on Thursday with a review of the Manchester United replay. Until then, goodbye guys!